In this video, I'm going to show you how to print your patterns. The B-Tool offers a lot of flexibility when printing your patterns because it uses a template system called Layouts. As an example, I'll just load a new pattern and I'll click the Preview button. It's always a good idea to preview your printout before you actually print it. And as you can see, this is the full printout. Uh, it contains the bead legend, the bead chart, and the word chart. But what if I don't want all that? I just want the bead chart and the legend. So I'll choose that layout. And now I don't have the word chart, I just have this. I don't even want that anymore. I just want to just see the pattern. And that's all I get. Now you can customize um, your own print jobs by clicking on the layout editor. I'm going to create a new layout. These on the side here are all the item, the different types of items that you can add to your layout. This is a text item and whatever you put in here will be printed. So just in this an example, now along with every item that you put in here there's also properties. So if I wanted to change the font, the size, make it bold or italic, or if I wanted to align it to the right, I'm going to align it to the right. So when it's printed, that the text that I just typed in here will be over here. You can also add pictures, um, the pattern, a pattern preview. It'll, it'll be like a realistic view of your pattern. This is the bead chart. This is the the bead legend, and this is the word chart. So if I wanted to add the bead chart I just add it and I also want the the bead legend but we're gonna put it on the bottom. Now let's see. Make it a little bigger. Now on the next page I think I want to put the word chart. Sometimes word charts can get really really lengthy so I'm going to have it cover the whole page and I'm going to make this dynamic. The dynamic setting for any item means that if whatever's being printed can't be printed on this single item, it'll automatically create another page with this item and keep going. Otherwise, if I put it on fit, it's going to shrink down the text small enough to fit on that entire page. Let's go back to the other page and let's put another text item in here. There, I think we're done. Now if I want to preview what this is going to look like, I just click the preview button. And as you can see, the bead chart's on the top, the bead legend is on the bottom, and the text is right where I wanted it. And on the second page that we put the word chart, it's there. And that's about all there is to it.